Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Clash of Eric. We are playing through a tournament over here on my Town Hall 9. It's an all Town Hall 9 tournament. And I thought it was the perfect opportunity to teach you guys how to do a Zap Lalo. So if you're new to Town Hall 9, this is where the game really begins here. Where complex strategies start to take shape and you can start to get a little bit more creative. And we're also going to mix in not only how to do Zap Lalo, but how to do some other really cool strategies. And it's all live from our Tournament War here from the live stream. And if you want to check those out there, there's a link for my Twitch in the description below. So guys, let's go dive into it. Make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to use code ERIC if you make any in-app purchases. Now let's go take him down. Nisoki coming in with a zap kill squad Lalo attack here. Only with 16 balloons. Really light on the balloons. He might have additional ones inside of the CC. Has to get the enemy queen down. Use the lightning to take her out. You need five lightning to take out an enemy queen that is max level. And if you're going to use all five there, then you can take out an air defense for four. In fact, if you have a level 29 queen, then you can take it out for four. And I'm going to give you guys a zap chart here in just a moment so you can see exactly how many lightning that you need to take down every single defense in the game at every different town hall level. And it's a definitely a just a really, really solid resource to have when you're trying to plan out your lightning because lightning is obviously one of the highest impact spells in the entire game. You just got to make sure you get maximum value out of it. Like his queen might lock onto this enemy king here. If he does, you'll have to burn his ability to get through him. She'll, she'll step up the storage a little bit. The king trying to find his way through this expo. He's had a couple of balloons while the king is tanking and work your way in from the bottom of the base here, which will also help protect the queen by taking out the cannon. That's a really nice move right there. Already started to clean up the bottom corner here with a couple of minions. He'll pop, pop his queen ability now. He never went to that storage. It's surprising. But the balloons were able to connect the heroes to the lightning and make so that they... All the balloons that are becoming in now will all stay together. Okay, nice push going in. He's got Tesla's popping along the top edge of the base here. He's still got a heal spell as well. Got plenty of time. Get that ground expo down in the middle base. The Hound crosses over. Yeah, this is crushed. That was a nice, nice, clean attack here from Nisoke. And he can swag the heal spell. Honestly, at this point, he doesn't want to use the heal spell. If he used it, it could be more harm than good because he would end up making so the Hound doesn't pop. Which it pops right there and that gives him more cleanup. So now we can safely drop the heal spell if he wanted to, but he doesn't obviously need it. Totally crushed here. And after putting that many spells onto the lightning to be able to swag two spells like that is pretty incredible. So absolutely crushed here. Nice clean attack here. From this okay. So make sure you take a screenshot of this, guys. This is a full breakdown of every defense of the game, and it shows you with and without a quake how many lightnings it needs to take those defenses down at every Town Hall level, from Town Hall 9 all the way to Town Hall 14. So this isn't going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Make sure you have this, and also, uh, you can go ahead and crop me out of that screenshot, unless you want me there, in which case... Do it. <laughs> uh, let's grab a screenshot of this as well. This is a radius chart here showing exactly how much a lightning will cover depending on how you put it on the top. If you put it directly in the center of the tile, then it'll be the bottom right one. If you put it right at the intersection, you can hit a four by four square. These are very, very useful for your reference so you can see exactly what you can hit with your lightning and so you don't waste any value there. So guys, let's get back into some more and let's go take some more bases down. Francie, live from our opponent's team. We got some Zap Lalo. I love Zap Lalo. One of my favorite Town Hall 9 attacks here. We bring five lightning to take out a level 30 enemy queen. If you have a lower level enemy queen that you're trying to attack there, then you can go with a little bit lower level lightning. He uses a couple of blues to go pull the CC. Looks like it is a Valkyrie, Baby Dragon, and a Witch CC. The Valkyrie will not be pulled out, and he makes sure that he keeps his heroes away from the CC range there, and just pulls the CC with some air troops there. So if there's a Lava Hound or Valkyrie in this case, then he'll never be deployed here, and the heroes have just a little bit less to deal with. He has a wizard out there funneling for the heroes as they work along towards this wizard tower. An air defense, and now look at the big giant hole that's created in the middle of the base here. He needs to connect his heroes to that hole that was created. 
Well, he doesn't have a wall break. He's trying to not wall break his heroes in to go in inside the base there. So this arch tower could potentially present a little bit of a problem. He starts in the balloons, and he needs the balloons to break to the left here. Or to the right, I mean. To the right. He wants to have everything go right counterclockwise around the hole that was created by the lighting. And it does. Okay, that works out. I will test this pop in the middle there. Fill it in the area that he used lighting in. Does lose those balloons in the middle, but he'll rage up and he still has a heal spell for the backside. He has more balloons to deploy over there. The hounds are crossing over there at events. Center group is taking a lot of damage here. He's going to lose that center group and the outer group will have to do the majority of the heavy lifting here. But the hounds are still on front there providing the thinking. It's the heal spell. Fill up the hounds as well. But we'll have to go through this wizard tower. The wizard tower can pick up a lot of balloons there as they all pile up going into it. But the hound take all the point defenses. And he'll work his way to the back side of the expo. Looking good. Looking really good here. Seems to get through in time. No troll tests in the corners of this base. And the hound, one of them at least, survives to the end. And we generally don't want that to happen. Looks like some goblins are peeling out of the CC now. He ended up having something going there. I guess it was an archer or something. But the archers from the queen ability were still alive at the bottom of the base there. That draws the goblins out of the way. And they're not going to cause any problems here. He's got enough for the cleanup. It's a triple all day long zap. Lalo, a staple here at Town Hall 9. And one of the best attacks in the game. 69% four star. Coming in for the next one. Zapping out the queen. But only used four lightning on her. So didn't actually finish her off. See how he finishes her off here. And then with a CC pull early, gets the full CC pulled out of there. Like baby dragon, Valkyrie, and a witch. No lava hound on that one. Now, I'm gonna draw on the base here just a little bit while he attacks to really illustrate what he's trying to do here. So notice that he zapped out this section right here. So the hero's primary job when they're trying to punch in is to deal with the CC. Finish off the queen if necessary, and connect whatever area the heroes remove out has to connect to where the lightning was so that when the Lalo comes in, then it can all circle around the base there, around the lightning, and stay together. This is a principle that you need to be keeping in mind in Lalo for every Town Hall level. Regardless of your, your Town Hall 14 or Town Hall 9, we want to make sure that we zap out or we do something to create a hole in the base and then we connect to that hole with our main push, with our heroes. And then that makes so the Lalo, when it comes in, will have a nice clean path clockwise or counterclockwise around the base and the hounds will stay into proper positions in front of the balloons and you just don't have everything going off in every direction. He's absolutely ripped this one to shreds here as he claps in the final air defense and all the balloons stay protected all the way through and even having the hound survive because he was so he was able to so efficiently take down every single defense while the hounds were tanking and all the balloons worked together. Massive amounts of synergy here. And he once again has a swag heal that he can toss in wherever he wants. And a hound survives. Absolutely crushed here. But you really have to keep that in mind there. Whether you're doing Town Hall 13 Blizzard Lalo or an Electro Lalo at Town Hall 11. The biggest thing that we need to do regardless of your town hall level, is punch a hole in the middle base there with the lighting and then connect the heroes to it to make so you can have a nice crescent shape to push your level through. All right, guys, let's change gears a little bit here and let's go check out some of the crazy attacks that people did when they started thinking outside of the box when we saw bases that Zap Lalo wouldn't work on. So enjoy these attacks here and then we'll revisit some more Zap Lalos towards the end of the video. So guys, let's go check them out. Hulk is live. Here we go, coming in to try to maintain our perfect war with a quad quake Pekka Golem Avalanche here. He's got a couple hogs for the backside of the attack here, but he has to do the majority of the heavy lifting here with the Pekkas and the heroes. Lots and lots of Pekkas here. Two Golems out in front. It's a Go Wipe. If you're not familiar with the Go Wipe, this is a Go Wipe. <laughs> Looks like he's struggling on the left side of the base there. Around that town hall, so he got the CC pull, and the CC does have a lava hound inside. It stalled up a lot of his troops over there. Let's have a nice push going through the center here, through the quad quake with a heal to top everything off. Golems get out in front. 
Mechas and Golems working together. The Wizards are right behind them. The Queen pops the Lava Hound. Where's your poison? Where's your poison? There we go. Doesn't catch a lot of the puffs there with that poison. Doesn't catch any of the puffs with the poison. Wizards will help get it down, though. They got the Golems in really strong positions out in front. The Wizards are starting to get targeted by that Wizard Tower, though. Bit of a problem. The Hogs are sweeping through, though. The Hogs taking advantage of the tanking in the area. We will finally rejoin after she gets down that left-hand corner. She's going to go to the top edge of the base, though. He might need to support her with some hogs if she starts to get targeted heavy. But the Pekkas have all broken to the outside of the base now. The Golem was tanking the Archer Tower there, so he sends in one hog to help with that. The Queen won't be able to reach the Archer Tower, but they will attack the wall. He still has a King ability here. The Wizards and the Golems are breaking through the wall in the middle of the base. Sends in a hog to try to protect the Queen. Not gonna be enough. He needs a skeleton spell there. He needs a skeleton spell to protect the queen. Put a skeleton spell down now while your queen is invisible. She hits a giant bomb. She goes down. Okay, skeleton spell comes down. Should have used a skeleton spell to maybe take out some of those buildings there, but that's fine. I think it'll work. I think it'll work just fine. He's got the golem breaking through the wall now. Wizard helping out. He's still got a minute. Balloon on the top side. He's got it. Hulk with a triple. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it looked a little bit shaky there. I looked a little bit shaky, but he's got it. You never know with these attacks here, but it, these uh, golems and pekkas just feel like they just go forever. Go wipe. Down hall nine. Get it done. Erfan is live. Coming in with pekkas, golems, and valkyries with backside hogs. He's got a quad quake. And he's got a couple of heal spells. A wall break opened the initial entry. Everything's going in. Valkyries come in to help out. Help him get to that enemy queen. Poison's up. Poison's up the queen. Also catches a triple baby dragon. Double poison to make sure he gets those down. He's got lots of heal spells here. For these hogs. I, keep, I kept on looking at the attack here and uh, forgetting that he had hogs on the back side, but... A strong push. He's got the hogs starting from the right side. They're gonna go right through a bomb tower. He's not dropping in the whole pack, though. He just goes in with two to go pick off that bomb tower, and then one onto the mortar to make sure that he doesn't have the entire pack get hit by the bomb tower. Now, with the golems out in front tanking, he can start in the hogs, probably from the bottom edge here. Starts moving from the top, though. He drops in just a little support to take the damage away from the queen, potentially. And the golems are in really, really good tanking position on the backside. He's got a big test of farm out in the open in the corner on the on the left side. Drops in a hog out there. Just a solo hog to go trip a, a giant bomb out in the middle of that. That was smart. There's a giant bomb so he doesn't get taken out on the backside of the attack there with all of his hogs trying to pass through that area. Looking really, really strong here right now. Pick off the last air or archer tower and then work his way to the test farm. He can heal in the test farm. Still has... <laughs> he has another... He didn't use any of his heals there before then, so... <laughs> Her friend is crushed. Nice attack, dude. Nice attack. <laughs> He'll swag the heal to top his queen off. And he can swag his queen ability as well. We're going live. So zap queen charge dragons in three two one go. okay quick running queen King right here. Blue dragon out here. All right. Coming, King. The king down. King found a Tessa farm out on the left side. Queen down. Okay. Queen will deal with the hound. Some air skellies there. 
gonna hold strong here. We can got a lot of we got a really strong push going into this air defense here. All the dragons are grouped together. We'll pop the hound here with the queen. And she can continue to wrap around that side. Isn't up now. We have a queen ability, air defense will drop. Poison was uh, very well placed there. Dragon up top, doing some good work there. I did lose a balloons that I dropped in up there, but we're doing all right. A lot of time. The queen can reach everything around the outside of the base here. So if that uh, dragon up top does a little bit more work, we have no problem with time. Got the arch tower down up there. I think it's arch tower down at the bottom too. If he gets that storage up there, that'd be really, really helpful. The longer that uh, dragon lasts up there, the better. But the queen will start to wrap around at the bottom of the base here and go clean up everything else that the dragon's missed. Okay, got the storage down, perfect. It'll die and the queen will be able to clean up the rest of the base here. We got it, it's a triple. All right. Stay imperfect. Stay imperfect. No misses in this war yet for our team. I'm gonna swag this queen ability to get through these last buildings here and get out of here with about 40 seconds to spare. All right, feels good. Feels good. Value. Yeah, good golem anger points too with all those Teslas. Yeah, I know the base was kind of easy. Okay. All break successful. It's not going in though, so. We can't see that. You're Let's lagging. See. Okay, you're good now. <laughs> I was like, don't lag out. <laughs> you don't need the king to go in. You're fine. Can get some good value on that side. There's a lot of the golems are not going out, and the king is, so he can provide the tanking out there. Actually, works it to your advantage. Poison CC. Like on the on the golems over on the right. Yeah, but nothing's going to the freaking. Fuck, I was dumb. He's taking the cannon on the left, you want to snipe it. Thanks. Just gonna do that to tank. Do this. Um, you may need the skeletal spells to distract the enemy king. Yep. The dragon doing some work. The dragon went down. Okay. I'm just waiting to see how I can clean up this base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, um... And you got all the defenses mm. about to go down. Yeah. So still, you might need to use a skeletal spell on cleanup, honestly. Maybe. Yep. I don't know, it's hard to say. Trying to see how to Working place it. I think I got it. I'll make a decision soon because you're gonna run out of time if you don't. The golems and will take the queen. The or the, yeah, the golems will take the king there to get the wizard to get him down. King. Yeah, I got it. There you go. All right, yeah, looking good. All right, King's down. Good. Yeah, you got time. You got time. All right, nice hit. Nice hit. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Kind of scary there. <laughs> At some points, I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, King walked. It was kind of dumb. Yeah, I mean, the, it just took a long time to fight the CC down. That dragon just kept on. Yeah, the CC just went to the bottom side. I just, yeah, just went to the bottom side, and nothing was able to take it down. So I wanted yeah. to wait. So the dragon went up to my queen that I could poison it, but I didn't mm -hmm. see it going down, so I said, frick it, let's just poison it now. Alright. Well, you got it. Gold map lunch. Get it done. <laughs> nice job. He's gonna be coming in against my base here, and he's got some zap kill squad Lalo here with a golem, and he's actually gonna be entering into the base. He'll zap out my queen and an air defense. Now he'll be trying to fight my CC here as well. He sends in a wall breaker there. Sends in a test wall breaker first to test for traps. Then he can send in the rest there and get the wall open. Golem is tanking so we can get the wizards to go in and clear the heroes to go directly in. Using the lightning as a funneling point there to make sure the heroes go directly forward and don't split off to the top edge of the base. Wizards are doing good work on the outside there picking off that air defense as well. But the lava hound will stall him up here for a bit. And that's the point of the Lava Hound. We use the Lava Hounds to 
try to stall the queen and distract while he's trying to fight off all these defenses and just keep the queen out of action there for a while while she tries to pick off all these lava puffs. So I have to go to ability here. And we'll see if she can get a little bit further into the base. He'll try to get this sweeper and the archer tower down. Okay, here. Starts in the Lalo in from the top side. Now he will be ending on the town hall. And in a single attack format war for this tournament, if he misses the town hall, then that one star will stand to the end here. A little bit slow to get the air defense engaged in the middle of the base there. He drops in more hounds now, and he'll try to push through there. All the lava hounds are stuck on one air defense in the middle of the base, away from the wizard towers. That's one of the key things that we do when we are base building is we make sure our air defenses are far from our wizard tower so we can't get the cross tanking and it looks like it's going to be a one star here it looks like my base is going to hold you'll heal up on the other side there's still a lava hound alive you'll try to get this wizard tower down and try to heal up his lava hound and maybe he can get through the test of farm it's not over yet bill has a little push here with this lava hound this is so risky coming in oh Red bomb's going off. <laughs> come on, come on. Kill the kill the balloons. The balloons are getting targeted. He's down to one. The hound is still alive. He's got the defenses down. He's got it. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought he's in a one star, but apparently I was wrong. And my base will go down. Scary moment there as the blues were dropping out of the sky very rapidly. But the Zapalalo brings a home. <laughs> Waifu live with a kill squad hog attack here. He's got three skeleton spells with golems, pekkas, and backside hogs. He's going for a big kill squad here. Dropping in the golem over on the right. Or sorry, three golems in on the left. The P.E.K.K.A. in on the right. All the golems will be stacked here. Jump down and he'll charge his way into all of these arch towers down at the bottom of the base here. Get the bomb tower on his way in as well. P.E.K.K.A. is providing some good tanking there. Attacking the wall. On these wizards to step up. He sends in a, a solo hog to go in and pick off that wizard tower. The funnel's solid. Able to collapse in both of his heroes to go inside. He's got a damage CC. That's what he's looking for when you do a kill squad attack. Is when you have very minimal troops going into the base like this. You need to make sure that you're going against a CC that the queen can handle without getting stalled up for a really long time on a lava hound. She's getting targeted by that by that cannon a little bit, so he will need to push his way in. But he's got three skeleton spells, and very likely the rage and the heal will go for the hogs as they push through this enemy king and queen. The Rage of Skeleton Spells can do a lot of work here. He drops them in now. Right on top of the queen. Now we can start the hogs. Uh, there, okay, now he goes. <laughs> a little bit uh, delayed on that, but he does take it out both of the enemy heroes here. His queen still behind the golems as they continue to push along the bottom edge of the base. The hogs sweep through, get the cannons down. He's got wizards starting all along the top of the base there with a Valkyrie out there as well. Uh, we could help him fight through a Tesla if one popped out there. But the Hogs are doing a really good job. He still has the heal spell. He, that's his first heal. And the only heal that he'll have here is he goes into a bomb and a wizard tower. And he'll push the Teslas on the back side of the base here and close it out strong. That was a really clever, fun attack there. I really like that. He sends in one additional Hog in from the right side to go get the Town Hall down. And that will close out the attack here. Nice attack here from Wife, but that was a really cool one. That was that was kind of outside of the box there. That was a bit outside of the box. But I love the use of the rage with the skeleton spells to take out the enemy heroes and just keep all these hogs protected. The skeletons survived that and then they provided a lot of tanking as the hogs were sweeping through as well. So worked out really, really nice there. And the the thing about that attack there is if you if you are looking at a base here and you're trying to figure out if you want to do hogs on it, one of the primary things that we're looking at is, especially at uh, these Town Hall 9 through 11, 10, 12, and 13, tend to do a hybrid attack where we have the miners in as well that kind of disable this. But one of the primary things that we're looking for is these spaces like this with 
two buildings one tile away from each other because those make key spots for spring traps so you can see that the defender was very likely putting all of his spring traps like one between these two buildings one between two these two buildings you can also put it in the kitty quarter between buildings like this and like over here so you see tons and tons of spring trap locations all along the side of the base there opposite of the heroes so if he reversed and instead instead of going in with the heroes through the enemy heroes and doing the kill squad there he puts it at the bottom has the skeleton spells take out the enemy heroes then he avoids a lot of the spring traps that can kill tons of hogs and then his hogs can sweep to the side of the base that very likely doesn't have any spring traps it's a 200 iq move there completely disabling the main defense that stops hogs and then takes them down Erfan is live. Coming in with some more Zap Lalo. It's a masterclass here in Zap Lalo today, apparently. You'll zap out the queen. And the buildings around her, although leaving up the expo. The expo's on ground, so it's not going to cause any problems. But it could potentially cause a little bit of a pathing issue. Now, let's see if we can connect the heroes to the hole in the base there created by the lightning. That's the primary thing that he's looking for here. And if it doesn't, then he'll have to find a different way to path this Lalo. He starts in the Lalo from the bottom edge there, just going after the Arch Tower and pulling the CC. Going with a air pull of the CC, draws out a witch and nothing else. Or is that two witches? I can't tell if there's one or two there. There is two, okay, it's two. Bane getting targeted by the Arch Tower now, the Golem out in front tanking. He He's gonna get the poison right to get the witch covered. Has to cover the witches here. Pops his queen ability. We'll get that enemy king down. Didn't get a lot of buildings out of the way with the queen here, but he will get the CC down as it dies to the poison. Finds a troll test in the corner. Have to collapse his way in. This is more of a pincer style Lalo attack here, where he had the lightning on one side and. There's already a natural line from the left on the outside to draw to the lighting in the middle. So as soon as he drops this air defense down here, all the balloons will meet up at the expo and then work their way through. So what he did is form the base into more of an hourglass shape with the king and the queen coming out on one side, the lighting on the other, and they take advantage of the natural line of the storages here that made a gap to keep all the balloons together here. So now he has another hound coming up the top corner. And he'll lose his tanking as the big pack of blues is getting hit by that wizard tower. You have to survive that. He's got more blues coming in on the left side to go after the air defense while the hound is still providing some tanking there. Loses all the blues up at the top edge there. The air scale is ripping him up. He's got this wizard tower down. It's the last air targeting defense and he gets it. Air scale is still doing some work here. Needs to pick him off. Drawing the ground scale is out of the way with an archer. Maybe deal with those with a wizard out there as they're kind of grouped up now. Perhaps the wizard on the opposite side of the base. They'll work on the cleanup. Well, not as yet. Time can still be a potential issue as he has to go all the way back to the storage that's on the right side. He has only one balloon right here. And that balloon is potentially going to get... Oh, come on. This wizard has to survive. It does! The wizard survives! And that means the balloon is not going to get distracted. Is it slow? I think it's too slow. It's going to be a time fail. He'll secure the town hall, taking a big risk there, ending on the town hall. Very confident in his Lalo, but a bit too slow on the push here. you get out of it at a 95%. Maybe 96, but one way or another, it is a defense here, and that means our team is up another one. Jason on defense here as my food tax. I believe this is another one of Urfan's accounts. He zaps, but he missed the queen. With the lightning. Did he? Or did he just zap out something smaller there? He just zapped out an air defense there. Did not seem to even attempt to take that queen down. Did he just miss her? A bit of a problem here. That could be a big problem here. Although he does have the king tanking for this baby dragon that's going to pick out the cannon on the outside. That's really nice. There's a lava hound out of the CC. That's a couple of wizards here that he can deploy. The golem still providing tanking out in front. He wall breaks in. And gets the wall open so the heroes can continue on to the air defense. Oh, the, the king is gonna is gonna go down soon. The queen steps away from the expo. That'll help out a lot. I'm really worried about this queen though. What was his plan for the queen? 
was she supposed to be hit by the lightning? And I, I do believe that she was. Because he only has two haste and a heal left here, so... It'd just be a little bit of a mistake here. I wonder if he can recover from it. Like, he's a really, really good attacker here. And if anybody can recover this... He probably could. He'll draw on the Lalo through the Town Hall. Make sure he gets that Town Hall down and he doesn't end up with a one star. Haste his way through as he fights off the Sweeper. Eight more balloons to drop here and another Hound. Drops in the Hound now. The ending on this Queen. This Queen does survive and she's going to start going through the walls here. If this Queen can get in here and help him get this enemy queen down. That'd be really, really helpful. We put a heal in the middle base there. The hound is locked onto the enemy queen right now. Or the enemy queen is locked onto the hound, I should say. Oh, come on. Get all the defenses down. He can turn onto this queen if he gets it down at the right moment here. Bloom's coming to the top side. Bloom's to the back side. Wait, did he just take the queen down? What? <laughs> no way. He got the queen down. With the balloons! They got the strike against her! <laughs> Our fan in the chat as well. He says, easy. Easy. All planned. <laughs> nice job, dude. Nice job. I was so worried about that queen. But the balloons hit her with the splash damage as they go to the center defense. <laughs> so I guess you're all Town Hall 9 Zap Lalo experts now, right? I'm pretty sure you are. So definitely go out there, smash some bases, and maybe try some of these other creative attacks here that people are using, and think outside of the box. So good luck. Talent is a lot of fun, and the things that you learn here will carry forward, and make sure you get these fundamentals down now. So guys, make sure you grab a screenshot of this chart here. Also, if you missed the other chart there, I'll flash it up here for one second, so you can grab a screenshot of it. And then if you want to help support the channel, if you go into your settings tab and you press more settings and you go all the way down to the bottom, you can type in a creator code right here and it'll make so that if you spend any money in the game, like a gold pass or anything in the game there, then Supercell gives us a little bit of a kickback and it's a great way to support the channel at no cost to you. And I really, really appreciate it. But good luck at Talon 9 guys and join us back for more.